Hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Tamara George. Today, since I have so many young faces, I think I'm gonna focus on, on goals for the future. And things VIP, and initially, it was a foundation that fostered the artistic abilities of kids. This message is just to tell you that you can do anything. When I took over the foundation, I wanted to focus on issues that were more personal to me, so I revamped the foundation to cater and support domestic abuse and children of abuse and things that I could, I could relate to since I went through that as a kid. Growing up, I didn't have a lot of options. I didn't have a lot of, uh, of positive um, role models. Growing up, I dealt with a lot of domestic violence in my house. My stepfather was physically abusive. As a child, I was uh, molested. I don't want to see any of you go through that, especially. There was a cousin in the family who would um, make, make me do things. You know, nobody knows the pain that you feel when you go through something like that. Before I go on, you know, I'm gonna let Leanne introduce herself and tell you a little bit about what she wanted to do. Hello, children. Yeah. Who knows exactly what domestic violence is and, and, and what it means? My life growing up was, it, it was very hard. My dad was very abusive physically and emotionally. When I saw him hit my mom, it was really, it just took me to a whole nother place. And I didn't look at him the same after that. And we're gonna talk a little bit about teen pregnancy. Does anybody understand exactly what that is? My dad left my mom when I was 10 years old. So my mom struggled working an $8.25 an hour job um, as a housekeeper. When he left when I was 10, I kind of rebelled from that and just, took this freedom that, I, that I've been deprived of. I got pregnant with my first child at 15 years old, and guess what? Not only did I get pregnant at 15, I had my second child by the time I was 17. Can you imagine 15 years old and I have to think about getting a job to take care of a baby? I think if my dad was in my life, it would have been a little different. I would have made better decisions, but I leaned towards a man for that love that I didn't get, you know, at, when I was a kid. The right way to do it is to wait until you're what? Wait until you're married. Their testimony was really powerful and they made uh, really powerful connections. I think Tyree has a crush on me. <laughs> too much. Tosh, she donates her time and goes to these different events uh, for charities. We wanted to come out here and encourage you. You would think that somebody that has been molested would be bitter, angry at the world, you know, and far from giving.